Jay Lyric, I am a songwriter. Um, I'm affiliated with BMI. Also affiliated with uh, RCA Sony Music. Um, let's see. I'm also a, a, a production assistant for a couple of films that are coming out soon. Um, so I'm kind of busy, you know, doing, trying to do both worlds, which is music and film. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin' with it? What's, what's up? Good, man? What's happening? Ah, shit, in the building, fuck with it, man. Just uh, shit, hungover from this guy that got high on the cannabis cup. But, uh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> man, bro, we, we, you, you're talking to three definitely hardcore fans, man. We go all the way back to you guys' first album. I've been following your career for a very, very, very long time. You are mm-hmm. an amazing artist. Too bad, you know, we live in a world where they don't recognize African Americans as much, but that's okay. That's why we're here. And we just want to mm-hmm. talk to you about, you know, your life and times and, you know, let the world know everything that you've been through, what you're going through, what your views are politically, socially, the music. The Grammys, the Oscars, we're going to talk about everything. <laughs> it's your boy Yuck Mouth, one half the Lotus. You know, uh, we from back in the day. You know what I mean? We had the uh, hit single. You know, uh, I got five on it. That went five times platinum. Uh, we did a song with Quincy Jones. That was Grammy nominated. Um, I branched off and started doing my solo career with Rap A Lot Records. You know, shout out Jay Prince. Branched off and uh, started doing my um, independent thing. And um, now I got uh, the radio thing going, Smoke Lot Radio, I see real TV. I got Smoke Lot Records, Smoke Lot Clothing. I got Dime Vape going, my vape plan company. And I'm about to start these uh, these uh, these jars and trays, man, these uh, uh, smoke jars and trays. So I'm just venturing off to a lot of different things with the cannabis community since five on it. And then Looney's is a big influence to the cannabis community. And I uh, just lean on that a little, you know what I mean? And uh, definitely with That's the music, you know what I mean? Uh, and next solo album, and next Looney uh, album coming out, we are uh, working on that. So, you know, I got my hands tied up in a lot of things. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. You, can you tell us a little bit about that One Nation album? Well, I was actually numb still on that album. I was in jail. I didn't make it. Yeah. Now I'm able to get on the album. And, and <laughs> Drew Down was able to get on the album. All eyes on me. <laughs> yeah, so I, I missed all of that, man. I was in uh, fighting this case, man. Uh, we had got like, you know, that's why I don't hang with a, a crazy entourage no more. Because we hung with some entourage and they beat up the limo driver. Anyway, long story short, I had to fight the charges. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, I wasn't even in the limo. You know, just just the homies, you know, got got real irate, real high, and real drunk, and beat up the limo driver. And they own limo. Mm-hmm. I'm driving in my car, but I took the charges, so I'm fighting that, and they in a fucking wow. studio with Tupac, you know, so, man, I was mad as fuck at that, but, yeah, Numb did it big. Numb definitely, Numb and Pop, uh, Numb and Pop, and that Drew did it real big, you know, and the One Nation project was done to, uh, Pop just uniting everybody in hip hop, you know, all the big heads, okay. you know, the West Coast, the East Coast, down south, you know, uh, Midwest, all in one album, you know what I mean? They call it One Nation, you know what I mean? So he had Buckshot, he had, uh, what's the new Smith and Wesson, uh, what he had? He had, um, this, uh, Craig, uh, he had a lot of East Coast dudes on there, period, a lot of West Coast dudes, man. And uh, just, just putting them together, he wanted to call it One Nation, you know? And uh, he wasn't able to complete the album before it died. You know? Wow. Yeah. I mean, crazy. hopefully, man, the Outlaws or, or, or a Fanny, you know, put that out, you know, because that was a great album, you know what I mean? Here, they can finish it up, you know, with the with the new artists, you know what I mean? And, and add them to what Pop already did and, you know, wrap it up. I think that'll be dope. 